All right, the Domestic Violence Awareness Month, we are hearing from different community voices. Today, we hear how men are taking a stand with the Men's March and a message of responsibility. This is the 27th year of the Men's March, and this is, uh, this is our time for men to stand up against domestic violence. In, in this past two years, as we have seen the shutdown by the pandemic, and uh, we have noticed an uptick in uh, incidences of domestic violence. And it's really important for us to remind our men um, of the importance for them to be protectors of their families. And this is why uh, we have chosen for this year's Men's March, uh, the theme Ho'okanaka. Ho'okanaka means to make someone, to, to become a man. Uh, kanaka, means not just man and not just human being, but in, in almost every context, it means to be a servant. A kanaka to a chief, to an ali'i, um, could even be another chief. A kanaka to the lahui is a person who serves the community, the nation. A kanaka in the family protects, secures the happiness and the welfare of the, of the members of that family. And when we're talking about men, when we're talking about men, what we are saying is, your job is to be the family's protector. There is no place in that role for violence. We do this to protect not just ourselves, but each other. We do this to protect our communities. We wear the mask and we get vaccinated because this is how we keep our people safe. And for any people like Kanaka who have been through the history that we have of, of horrible diseases, this is one of the things we do to protect ourselves in this pandemic. But to return to, to the message on this mass, Ho Kanaka, it really just means to, to become a mature person, to see yourself as the, the person who others can rely on, uh, who others see as their protectors. For a long time, people, and not just our people, have sort of pretended that this problem did not exist. And it really left women and children as victims that could only be, you know, cared for almost in secret. When we do this march, we are acknowledging that this is a problem that exists. And when we do this march, we are acknowledging that we all need to learn the lesson that, that these kinds of behaviors need to be dealt with openly, directly, and finally. It is always important to model the behavior you want to see in a society, the values you want to see in society. And so and when we've held these men's marches in the past, we've always hoped that tens of thousands of men would come. This year, because of COVID, we'll only be having 10 men represent our community. But we hope that there are tens of thousands of men who see this and get the message. Different this year as was last year, as they said, coming up October 7th, the Men's March standing with the 10 who will represent everyone on this community issue will be streaming on Facebook. And we'll post all of that on our website. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm.